Hello everyone. The topic for the day is gradation, degradation and aggradation. The landforms on the surface of the earth are formed by tectonic forces. We know this, we have studied it in the previous videos. The landforms on the surface are formed by tectonic forces. Now, what happens? As soon as the landforms are formed, certain agencies which originate on the surface of the earth. These agencies acting on the surface of the earth, what do they do? They start acting in direct opposition to the tectonic force. Tectonic forces have made these huge mountains great in height and the agencies, natural agencies, which work on the surface of the earth, they immediately start to reduce the elevated features on the surface of the earth. This process is known as gradation. Process of gradation, what does it do? It starts reducing the elevated surfaces and tries to bring it to the level of the surface of earth. We can see in this picture as well, the process of gradation has immensely changed the topography here. Now, originally, this was the hill or the mountain where the gradation process has started and the, the hill has reduced gradation process, erosional mountain. The high mountain has been eroded and this is what the erosional mountain has come up to the level. Original mountain, reduced height reduced almost to the level of the surface. These processes are the process of gradation. Now, forces of gradation, they derive energy directly or indirectly from the sun. And gradation is responsible for the continuous modification of landforms on the surface of the earth. Gradation involves two processes, degradation and aggradation. Degradation includes weathering and erosion. About weathering and erosion, we will be studying today. Aggradation, we will study in the coming videos. So first, weathering. Weathering. Now, before the agents of gradation start their work on the earth's surface, the top layer of the rock here, we can see it has been disintegrated. It has been broken. The top layer have started, uh, it has got disintegrated, broken, and even the joints of the blo block rocks uh, closer to the surface, they too start getting disintegrated by the process of weathering. This process, which helps in loosening 
breaking and decomposition of the earth's surface is known as weathering. So, weathering involves disintegration of rock and decomposition of rock. By disintegration and decomposition, only the rock, the form of the rock which was there on the surface of the earth will start changing gradually. Erosion. Weathering. Weathering has uh, disintegrated the rock. The broken rock material is lying at the foothills of the rock. Now this rock material, it is eroded, carried away and it is transported to the place where it will rest finally. Weathering is the weathering is followed by erosion. Erosion means to wear away. It is a process which removes the broken rock material from the place of its origin to the place of its resting. Now the agents involved in erosion are the, the they are running water, ice, moving ice, wind and the sea waves. All these agents of nature are responsible in erosion. That's all for the day. I hope you have understood these terminologies. Do hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.